Hi friends, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share a vlog of my winter book club retreat. Back in May of 2023, I joined an in-person book club. The book club is called Well Read Badly Behaved and it does have an Instagram which I will link down in the description box for you so you can see which books that we have read and which ones we will be reading. But it is a local in-person book club. So unless you're in the area, um, it's not really going to benefit you. But if you live in the Hampton Roads area um, in Virginia, then maybe check it out. But I absolutely love this book club. I have grown really close to some of the girls. And yeah, we decided to do a winter book club retreat. It was a lot of fun. We did it in the Outer Banks. Uh, it was a Friday through Monday situation, like a long weekend over Martin Luther King like weekend. And yeah, I just have so many great memories from it. But I do want to say that the Women on the trip are not on social media like I am. They do not have YouTube channels. They don't even have bookstagram accounts. I think only one of them does. And so to respect their privacy and not be shoving a camera in, my fa in their face, you won't really see a lot of footage of them. You might see hands or backs or stuff like that. I just really tried to respect their privacy and, you know, their little bubble and just make it a safe space for them. Um, but also I did want to document it. Um, and I don't know, I just, I had such a good time and I, I've looked so long and hard for like local friends and the fact that we all read and run the same book club. I don't know. It's just, it's a really awesome feeling. And just the way that we like interacted over the entire trip was so special and I can't wait to do it again next year. But I just wanted to kind of walk you through what we did each day so that everything else kind of makes sense. <music> So like I said, we started the trip on Friday. That was our arrival day. So started at my house, packed up my bags, packed up my car and drove from here to the house. And I have never been to the Outer Banks in the winter, but let me just tell you, it's a vibe because there's not a lot of traffic. There's not a lot of people. And it was the smoothest ride I have ever had to the Outer Banks. And I was a little nervous about the drive because I've never done it myself, but it was super easy. And yeah, um, I ended up getting there a little bit early. So I had like stopped off at a couple of stores for some things. And then I went to the house. And when I got to the house, the sun was setting and it was so beautiful. Like I literally could not believe I was there. Um, but yeah, so the book club leader was there and then I arrived and she gave me a little tour of the house. It was like a three story, like beachy, you know, coastal home, had an elevator. Um, there were like tons of bedrooms, tons of bathrooms, tons of like little seating areas. It had like a really nice kitchen. Um, yeah, I think we just all felt very, very comfortable there. Um, I, my bedroom was on the first floor. And then we mostly stayed up on the third floor and had a great view of the bay. And I don't know, it was just really, really nice. So yeah, we checked in and then people slowly started trickling in and then we'd kind of give them the tour and we would get settled in our room. Like I unpacked my car, stuff like that. And then we really just sat around and hung out. Um, at some point they did go out and grab pizza from this place called Slice. And we got like three different pizzas and it was delicious. Like the mushrooms on it were really good. They had these like roasted red peppers on there that were really good. Like it was just really good pizza. And then we stayed up until like 1.30 in the morning chatting. And then we all kind of like, were like, okay, it's late. We have an early morning, like let's go to bed. So I ended up staying up for like another hour because I had some things to do for Patreon and stuff. And I ended up staying up for like an additional hour. So I went to bed at 2.30 a.m. Let's talk about the books that I'm gonna be bringing on the retreat. I have four of them here and I had to change things up at the last minute. So I have book number two in the Dreamland Billionaire series by Lauren Asher. Very excited about this one. I did plan to bring the third book, but it's not available on audio. 
So I'm gonna leave that one behind and read it physically when I'm back home. Um, I'm bringing the fourth book in the Natural series by Jennifer Lombard's Bad Blood. And I just finished book three this morning and I cannot wait to dive into this. But I also am so sad because I don't want it to be over. I'll probably start with this one. Um, I'm also bringing All the Dark Places by Terry Parlito, which is an Aardvark book club pick. Um, I have another book by them that I got from Aardvark in January. So I want to read like that one, but I want to read the debut first um, so I can see the evolution of the author's writing. And then last but not least, a wild card. I'm bringing I Am Pilgrim by Terry Hayes. I've heard that this is very like fast paced, but it doesn't seem like my typical thriller. But yeah, I think if you look at the size of these books, I'm only going until Monday. So I should be good Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I have one for each day of the week. <laughs> Um, and then of course I do have some audiobooks that I could just listen to, but these are the physical books that I want to bring. friends I am almost at the retreat I stopped off at five below and Marshall's for my friend Raven's birthday and got her some macarons and a macaron little bag with some tissue paper stopped off at Wendy's to go to the bathroom and now I am buckling up for safety and I'm heading to the house. I'm hoping I can get there and meet up with Jackie so I can catch the sunset with her. So here we go, let's go. I'm here, we're about to do dinner. Um, two of the girls ran out and got pizza and drinks. Um, we're having fun, we're just sitting around chatting. I came with my in-person book club to the Outer Banks. We got these cute little toads that have the house on them, the name of my book club, the year, and all of that. And it has some little goodies in it, so I thought I would open it with you. And then I am headed to bed because it's actually after one in the morning on the first night, but I wanted to see what was in the bag. So we have a face mask, an aloe face mask, a sheet mask, so love that, yes two pack of emergencies. I actually brought one of these myself, so I'm happy to have some more. Oh, I got tea. So that was really nice. And some chapstick. I got the key lime. I got Oh, what is this? Bali Coco Coconut and Sandalwood Body Balm. Ooh, that's nice. I'm gonna like open it. Oh, it smells so good. That's very exciting. So I got that. And then I got peppermint tea, which I love. And then I got a little claw clip, 
which is perfect because you guys know I wear my hair up all the time. So that was in my goodie bag. But of course, the real thing that I'm excited about is this toad. I can't believe I have a cutie toad. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And this is a line drawing of the house that we're staying in. So I love it so much. Anyways, like I said, I am headed to bed, but tomorrow morning we're going to a cute little coffee shop that also has like a bookshop in it. We're going to a couple more bookstores and then the rest of the day is going to be dedicated to reading, hopefully the books that I showed you before I came. And then we're just going to read and then we have dinner out to celebrate one of my book club friends birthday. Yeah. So I'll see you in the morning. And then we go to day number two. Um, so the plan for the day, this was a very loosely um, planned trip. We said like, here's some things that we could do, but like, don't feel forced. It was always like breakfast and lunch on your own, but like we'll get together for dinners and figure things out. And that worked out perfectly because everybody brought their own groceries and there was a huge fridge upstairs. There was another fridge downstairs. There was like a huge pantry. So we, all of us had like plenty of room for our food and stuff like that. Um, we had a tricky time with some of the appliances, but we figured it out. So day two, we woke up um, I didn't really eat breakfast, just kind of waited for everybody to get up and get ready for the day. And then we went to a coffee shop, Duck's Cottage, and it's actually a coffee shop and a bookstore together. And that was just so cute and such a vibe. If I lived locally, I would be there every day. Um, I was like, I would work here. <laughs> It was just so neat. And then we went to um, Island Bookstore. And then after Island Bookstore, uh, we went to this lighthouse and like took a picture out in front. Um, and then we drove to another Island Bookstore. It's like owned by the same person, but it's just like they have different locations. Um, so we did the one in Car Corolla and then we did the one in Kitty Hawk. And then after that, will you like be for real, for real right now and say how shocked you are that I did not buy any books on this trip? Proud moment right there. It's not that they didn't have like a good selection. They did like lots of people got books. And in fact, at the, island, the last Island bookstore that we went to, they had a, if you buy a book, you get an ARC for free. Like they just have their arc sitting there and they're like, if you want one, if you buy a book, you can take one. And I thought that was amazing. And some people did take advantage of that deal, but I just was like, okay, I don't need a book to encapsulate this like memory or this trip because I have all of these other memories and I don't need like a physical object to say like, I went to the Outer Banks with my book club. Like I don't need that. And I have so many books on my TBR. So I sustained and I am so proud of myself. So then we went back to the house and then we ate lunch. We took a nap because like I said, I got very little sleep the night before. And then when we woke up, we were just chatting, hanging out and we ended up going out to dinner at this place called Chili Peppers. And then afterwards we went back to the house and we played a bunch of games for the rest of the night. And then we went to bed. Good morning. It is day two of the retreat and I'm just getting ready for the day a little bit. I want to do something to my face, brush my teeth, put on my deodorant, things like that. Not normal content for me, um, but I am out of town this weekend because I am on my book club retreat in the Outer Banks in North Carolina and i'm having so much fun um basically um i joined an in-person book club um last may and i went to it every single month in 2023 and i read some duds so i'm hoping this year is better we're actually off to a really good start in 2024 because um, the first two picks I've already read the January book. We read Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. And then in February, we're reading The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston, which I've already read and I rated five stars. So great start to the new year. Um, 
but we decided there's like a core group of us that have gone to like pretty much all of the meetings and we just thought it would be a really nice way for us to connect even further and we had the time off because it was like kind of like a long weekend so we were like let's take advantage of it let's get a house in the Outer Banks and that's what we did so the leader of the book club kind of organized all this we all chipped in and paid for the house for the weekend it was very reasonable um it is the off season so that's also a plus and that's why i think it was like cheaper than it would normally be and plus we're only doing it for four days so um we was like check in on friday and then saturday and then sunday and then we check out on monday um, but the location is great because it is the off season. So there's not a lot of people around. Um, we're mainly going to use it as like a reading retreat. Um, but yesterday we did not read. <laughs> we really just like checked in, got to know each other a little bit more, ordered pizza, talked like till 1am and it is 7.30am. So I'm <laughs> getting an early start. Um, but yeah it's already so much fun um this morning we're gonna go grab coffee at um this bookshop coffee shop <laughs> i guess it's a coffee shop that has books um so i'm excited about that like who would not love that um but yeah we're gonna do that and then we're going to hit a couple of other bookstores in the area there's not many here but there's enough that we can go visit them and then after that um, we'll come home, do lunch on our own, and read books, and then I think we're going out for dinner tonight. So, it's a very chill day. Sorry, I'm totally distracted by getting my stuff out, but, um, yeah, I'm really excited. Um, I started Bad Blood last night. I think I got like 20-ish pages in, so that's what I'm reading first. I'm so excited, um, and yeah. That's all I really have to update you on. So all you're going to see throughout this is little clips rather than like a full narrative of everything that we're doing because um, these people are not social media people. They're not on YouTube, you know, stuff like that. So I don't want to make anyone feel uncomfortable like throwing the camera in their face. So you're just mainly going to get me maybe little snippets of things here or there. Um, but it should still be a fun bookish vlog nonetheless.
It has been an eventful day. We went to a coffee shop. We went to three different bookstores. We came back to the house. I've been reading Bad Blood, which is going really, really well. I'm on page 218. We have about two hours until dinner, and I'm just gonna take like a little break and relax for a little bit. But this series is so addictive and you become so interested and invested in the characters. I will say this isn't initially like my favorite. It's kind of different, but I also think that's good because if you just got the same thing in each book, you would get sick of that. So I'm gonna take a little break. I'm gonna eat some bugles and after that, I'll get myself ready for dinner and stuff like that. But we're going to this restaurant called Chili Peppers, which I've never been to before. Third day of the trip. It was my goal to finish my book. I had read 250 pages of Bad Blood by Jennifer Lynn Barnes and I wanted to finish it and I did. So I woke up, some people went out for breakfast. I stayed behind. I had brought egg and cheese bagels with me. So that's what I made for breakfast. And then I sat down and I buckled down and read the rest of my book. It took me a couple of hours. Once the other group got back from breakfast, they started on this really cute puzzle and it was a thousand piece puzzle. And it was actually pretty hard, um, but it was like a five hour puzzle project. So not only did I finish my book, but I was able to help finish out the puzzle at the end. And that was super fun. And then after that, we just, we hung out and we chatted. We walked down to the dock. We took some sunset pictures. Um, and then there were a group of us that decided to go to dinner. And so we went to Noosa, which is like this Australian surfer, kind of like surf and turf, but they also have like American food, like, I don't know, vibe. And so we went there and there was only four of us that went out for that. Um, some other girls stayed back, um, but we went out to dinner and then we stopped at the grocery store and got cupcakes for Raven's birthday. And we went back and surprised her with that. And then we played games and then we went to bed. Good morning, friends. It is day three of my book club retreat, and I just called Daniel and said good morning and let him know what we were going to be up to today. Now I'm here to let you know we're going to read today. <laughs> um, I read about 250 pages yesterday, but we're going to read, we're going to relax, we're going to nap, we're going to hang out, we're going to snack, and we're going to read. So, sounds like a fun day ahead. So, I'm going to let you go, and then I'll try to get some footage of things happening, but I don't think much is going to happen today. So, we shall see.
the last day, day number four was our departure day. So the previous night I had stayed up and packed everything up, packed my car, um, cleaned my room, you know, all that stuff basically. So all I had to do was like take off my PJs, put them in my bag and put on my clothes and then throw my bag in the car. And I helped people like get their stuff out of the kitchen and stuff like that. So we kind of did a little bit the night before, but we finished up the morning of and took signs off the doors because we had like labeled which room everybody was in. And um, yeah, just helped with that. Looked at my last, you know, views around the house and um, decided that I was going to go for coffee and stop at this like souvenir kind of shop um, with Jackie and <laughs> wouldn't you know it I go to start my car and my battery was dead I'm always down for one last adventure before I hit the road because when Jesse was here back in November um literally we went out to breakfast the morning that she was leaving and we both had the same black Amazon fanny pack like Lululemon dupe bag and we had gone to breakfast and we came home and she left and I was looking for my phone. I was looking for my purse. I was looking for my keys and I had none of it. I had no way to contact Jesse and I was freaking out cause she's driving back home. And I'm like, how, f like, how am I going to contact her? How am I going to contact her? And I figured it out, <laughs> but I was like, did you accidentally grab my bag? Like not on purpose, obviously, but like, and she was like, I don't think so. And I was like, I cannot find my purse. Can you turn around and come back? And she did. And she's the one that said, hey, maybe you left it at the, you know, where we had breakfast. And I was like, no, I don't think so. We called it. And sure enough, I left it there in the booth. And a good Samaritan turned it in. Thank goodness. Um, because like I said, not only was it like all of my purse stuff, my money, my phone, my car keys, like, but yeah, so she drove me down there. We picked it up and then on this trip, you know, of course, my battery dies. So I had flagged down Jackie and I was like, hey, do you have jumper cables? And she's like, no. And I'm like, luckily another um, friend did. Um, I was like, Sam, do you have jumper cables? And she's like, yes. I literally just got some like a week or so ago. And we were like, praise Jesus. So we ended up jumping my car, the strong women that we are, and everything was fine. But in order to avoid any mishaps, I was like, I'm actually just going to go straight home. Um, so I'm not going to go get coffee. I'm not going to eat breakfast. I'm not going to stop at the souvenir shop. I'm driving directly home. So that's what I did. And once again, the drive was so easy, so smooth, so quick. And I got home. And once I got home... I was out. I unloaded, I got Daniel to unload half of my car, but I unloaded the rest. I threw in a load of laundry. I took a shower and then I laid down and took a four hour nap. I slept until 4 p.m. It is day four of my book club retreat and we're headed home today. Very sad. So there won't be much fun footage, but I had the best time and I'll do a full recap when I get home. So that was my book club retreat, winter 2024. Um, we do have an idea of maybe doing something in the spring, like late spring, early summer, which I'm really excited about. I hope we can make that happen. And then we all agreed that we would love to do it again in the future. So if you're looking to do something like this, you need to put yourself out there. If you're like me and you are having a really hard time making friends, because making friends as an adult is hard, but you have to find that one little thing that you can explore, that one little, like I had the one friend that I randomly met, it just kind of blossomed from there. 
So keep trying, put yourself out there, and hopefully you can have something fun like this happen. But if your in-person book club does retreats like this, I would love to hear about it. I already talked to one of my patrons, their in-person book club does it. And I think it's just a really fun vibe. You get away, you actually read books, and you get to know the people in your book club even more. So it was a wonderful trip. Thank you so much to my book club leader, Jackie, for organizing everything. Thank you and shout out to all of the ladies in my book club that came. I loved getting to know you more and I can't wait to continue getting to know you over the whole year that we have ahead together. Um, our January book club pick is Divine Rivals and I've already read it and I do have a vlog on my channel if you're interested in my thoughts. And the February book club pick is The Seven Year Slip, which was one of my best books of last year. So it's the start to a great year. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're all having a lovely day or night. And I'll see you guys again in another video very soon. Bye, friends. <music>